Welcome back, you beauties. This morning, we are going to learn more about what motivates and inspires the young people of today. You're still kind of young, so I think this maybe is a bit more for you. Um, but we know that there is a massive shift towards purpose and really going out there and grabbing those dreams, no matter how lofty they might seem. Technology and social media has opened a whole new world of career possibilities. And I think many choose to balance the pursuit of a less traditional career path and focus on being that while creating content around it. Now we are seeing the magic happen. Someone who is successfully doing just that with a brilliant, uh, I think, brand of South African humor and, of course, over 600,000 followers on TikTok now is Lesedi Lale, better known as... Creator Lassetti! <laughs> welcome to it. You've got to applaud yourself, bro, because you are awesome, buddy. Welcome to this little slice of crazy. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, hi, hi there, hi there. Thanks for having me. Yeah, how, yeah. how are you doing, bro? I'm doing well. I mean, I feel good. I'm at the Feel Good Breakfast Show. Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? You and don't you're, have a choice. You yeah. look incredible as well. Oh, right? thank so, pretty, we're not mentioning how incredibly stylish you are on top of everything that you're juggling right now. But before we get into what you are doing, let's take it back a bit, man. It's from mm. Soweto, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Had an, uh, an interesting upbringing. What is the, how does that upbringing and that sort of uh, time in your life spark this interest in the science world, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, if I were to take it back to Soweto, you know, I think the first thing that I have to start with is the humility, you know, in the place, you know. Uh -huh. yeah. I first learned that. And when it comes to science, you know, there are people who are inspiring me, you know, in my school. So I went to Maforim Patele High School, so it's a public school in the township. Okay. So amongst, you know, the students, or rather the learners at the time, there were learners that I looked up to, you know, who inspired That's me brilliant. to do science, you know, at the time, yeah. Nice, okay. Um, it's so crazy because teachers can guide us. We, all we need is that mentor. We need someone to do that. Now, very often, I would imagine there weren't a huge amount of mentors that you could just reach out and connect with in the science space. So it's amazing that other older learners were there to guide you through that. But now we've got this platform, we've got TikTok that has just exploded, not just for dance, okay, not just to drive brand, but as a platform for you to reach and effectively mentor more people. How did this all come together? Where was the content creation spark? Yeah, so if I were to take it back to primary school even at the time, so wow. I've always had creative ideas, you know, growing up, but I didn't know how to execute them because Channel, I didn't yeah. have, you know, resources or comprehension when it comes to producing content. So I think the turning point was in my metric year, so I used to watch this show every time, you know, Expresso. Yeah. I think there were, yeah, this show, it was, okay. it was Leanne Williams, it was Hugh Graham, it was Katlako Maboe, and, oh. you know, and Zoe Brown was here as well. Oh, so that was at the time, and it inspired me a lot to produce content. So I remember... After school, I used to produce my mini espresso, you know, it didn't make it out on, on social media, of course, but that was the idea behind content creation. So I think I knew that I had to have proper timing when it comes to pro content creation because I knew that I want to be an academic at some point, you know what I mean? So I waited until I was in my third year in university. That's when I had the confidence to start my, my content creation. Light the thing. fire. Yeah. Light that fire. And now it's burning, bro. Yeah. Yo, yeah. It is burning. Yeah. Burning yeah. bright. But let's, let's talk about this. So third year now, we had UC. Yeah. You're doing your undergraduate, you haven't even attempted your master's yet, but yeah. like you mentioned just now, timing needed to be perfect and yeah. somehow you managed that timing. Juggling all of this, studying the sciences at UCT while creating content, how was that journey like, man? That's challenging. I've been to that place. It had me, bro. It, it I, had I was going to say, are all other students just lazy? Or yeah. are you I ended up with the yeah. 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 catching up, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hey. yeah, yeah, no, no, it's difficult. I mean, course is showing at the yeah. time. But I think the timing was perfect because I was, it was in the second semester of my final year. So I had the confidence now to do other things because I knew I was near the finish line of that first degree. You know what I mean? Way, yeah. So I started, you know, doing, covering events on campus. So I started with, with mini shows, you know, having a mic there presenting throughout you know the shows that we had on campus then from uh, there on after i graduated i think that december of 2022 in my final year that's when i started doing comedy now so it was all like a testing ground for you up until that point Con proof of concept yeah you uh, it like that, if you like. it's so crazy because when we get so many people ask us for this tv plugin and i will just tell them because to you it looks like this is a structured job thing we are just representing ourselves and our life path and then we kind of intersect for these shows and these moments but it's it's just one slice of just go out and do it 
just go and create your own content, create your own platform, go out there and do it. And you've done that. So you, I think you started your career years ago without even realizing it. Mm. Yeah. You can train, you can practice, but not everyone can be funny. Where does that come from? <laughs> oh, man. Because no. you have just started and left there. You could have just been a comedian and kept in that lane, dude. You are very funny. Where does that come from? Oh, I, that comes from way back. You know, I, I think I realized when I was in matric, you know, at the time. So when I, when I was chilling with friends, you know, I'd get that a lot. Dora, I mean, we are too forward, you know, in our home language, you say, Wapapa, you know, like yeah, a lot of people papa. would say that, Dora, hey, yes, speed and do you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? So I realized that, hi, man, I think I'm funny, you know, even the teachers at school would pull me on the side and tell me that, hey, we know that you are too forward, but you, you must capitalize on this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Use it to your advantage. So I think I've always had interest in sitcoms, you know, I've always been interested in, like, a lot of sitcoms that I can mention right now. So I think that the whole funny idea comes from a lot of sitcoms that I've watched. Uh, but, and I think through that journey, you've clearly learned how to package. You've learned how to produce. And that's often where funny falls down. It's like it's, everyone can be funny, but how do you put that into the right context, into the right place, and, and plug in? And you've, you've nailed it, dude. You've Absolutely. nailed it, man. You're nailing everything you touch, every space you play in. Where to next, bro? Yeah, um, I think it has to be continuation. So I'm, I'm now working on managing whatever that I have for at least the next one year and six months because also it takes a lot of research. You know, you speak yeah. of packaging and structuring yeah. things. You know, it takes a lot of research sitting down and structuring and also reaching out or rather doing case studies with the people that have made it before. So it takes a lot of practice. So for now, I'd say it's management. Let's just keep it going, keep it going. And then after one year, six months, we should have something. Do you better. secretly have a team of writers sitting yeah. behind you right now giving you these answers? There's like three or four people sitting there just typing answers or you've got AI plugged into yeah. your brain or something, bro. Um, this is so impressive. I've yeah. sat next to industry moguls, people who have been in this game for 30, 40 years years who haven't got it this right, this succinct in terms of their, their image of where they're going and how they're doing it. But you are impressive, my friend. Oh, and you're you. a good thank kid, you. man. That's kind. Oh, man. That's just thank a kid. You. Just thank a kid. You. Remember this name, ladies and gentlemen, Lassini Lale. Thank you so much again for sharing your time, inspiring yeah. us. I think everybody watching right now is going to get up and do something great with their lives. And that's thanks to you. So we look forward to seeing more of you. And yeah. whatever you touch is going to turn to gold. And I can't wait to chat about that. But of course, just reminded you that uh, maintaining a balance is possible, clearly. And uh, what about Lassini? journey as a student and content creator maybe inspires you the most because we'd love for you to come to oh. share some of that inspo with us on our social media pages and let's keep this gears and this good stuff going man i love it Thank I, you, I have a feeling he answers dms as well i just yeah. have a feeling <laughs> that he is there to connect and, and mentor you as well